Hello, Chris here. Yeah? Uh, filling in very briefly for Mr. Real Out Guide. Um, you might want to say hello as well. Hello, how are you doing? doing Thanks it. for Chris for joining me again. Yeah. In the sunshine, we've had the kids spraying water all over. It's been great fun. Great Blazing fun. sun today. Uh, yeah. But we've got a beer from my homeland. Uh, I'm a Cornishman, as some of you built the, the keen item actually you may have spotted. Um, this is Monk's Brew 1127, that Abbey style ale from Pemponts Brewery. Where's Pemponts to, Chris? Do you know? It's in Cornwall, uh, Lanston, Launston, de depends on where you are from Cornwall, how you present that word. But, you know, the key thing is it's Cornish, and that's a good thing. It means you're going to get a good water quality, I think. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Plain gold crown on this thing. Mm. Get the old keys out for this review. Oh. It's a fit. We've had a couple of beers in the sun, and it's a bit of a laid-back review. This one, we're not going uh, kind of. There you go. Yeah. It's a very bright sun today. So, struggling with the uh, keys there. All done. Let's get this beer poured out and see what we get. Now we're aware this. These should probably be in like tulip glasses or whatever. It's, it's a, Belgian yeah. style beer, I'm guessing if it's an Abbey style, you know, they're, they're relating to the French kind of monastery experience. Mm. Doesn't look quite like that to me. It's more like a, a red ale. I mean, if you're looking at traditional colours and stuff, it looks like an amber ale to me. Yeah, it's just a UK amber ale. Amber ale coming in at 6.4%. And for me, an important one, like Chris mentioned earlier, the Cornish water. I always find the Cornish water very soft, very drinkable. Mm. So, I'm expecting quite a lot from this beer. Um, what you got? What the, you explain the colour? It's a go, kind of golden, clean coloured beer. Yeah, not much in the terms of a, a head. I've, I've, I got I've a got bit of head on the, mine. Bit I've of aggressively head. poured it. Just doesn't work for me. I, I just can't do it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, this is relative to that. High ABV. You know, you're not necessarily expecting a big, massive lease no. of any kind of head anyway. Can I show us? Should we get our smells in? Yeah. Diving ahead of you there. Mmm, sugary, yeah, kind of very sweet, amber, end of things. Candy sugar, yeah, yeah. It reminds me of a a brute or something. Um, it's, it's a, it smells like a weak Belgian beer. Yeah. If the, if the Belgians were to do small beer, which I'm not, I'm not clear they do, I mean, they seem to like their big. Yeah. Like Anything over six, which yeah. this is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, but this is like the lower end of that. Yeah. It's interesting for a UK brewery to be into one of those. And yeah, this must be the first kind of Cornish brewery to kind of explore in the in the Belgium. Well, the first one I know of. Yeah. 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 I think Sharps have messed about with a few, but hmm. I reckon it's a very yeasty nose. But it's all the proofs in the tasting. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, Jim. Um, oh. It's taking a second to hit, isn't it? It's almost like it's almost like taste neutral. It's yeah. really weird. I think how have they managed that? I mean, we've been hitting, yeah. we've had a couple of ice bears this afternoon from Germany, so I'm going to take a second hit just yeah. to kind of, um, yeah. just to kind of clean the palate, to kind of swamp it. The same as your first taste, the vice beer kind of that we've been drinking all afternoon mm. has kind of neutralised the first taste, and I'm, I'm still trying to. <laughs> Cornish water on my diet. Yeah, on on occasion. Yeah, I didn't necessarily go that, but it's a, it's a big thing for me. It, it's so it's almost sweet. And it comes out the tap sweet. You know, you don't need to add much to it. It just makes your life that much easier when it's that soft. I think as a brewer, you're not looking for Britonisation if you're a Cornish brewer. I no, think. no, you haven't got to look at Britonisation, have you? I think you're looking at producing something different, and this hits that. It's like saying you. have You've got a safety net of okay, whatever we brew, we're brewing with Cornish water as a base. Mm. And let's be fair, let's be fair, even on a beer of six point four percent, 
it's still probably 95 percent water so it's a huge ingredient that people kind of miss out on when they explain a beer mm. we always look at the water don't we always yeah. say try to yeah I mean, yeast, you know, look, hops, malt, and water, and lots of beers will try for that kind of, you know, standard pH. I don't, I don't get the sense that they tried that. Because they've just I gone ahead, taken a base ingredient, and gone. This is this is a great base ingredient. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and and this will make you want to drink this more. And and yeah, you know, I can run working my way through this same as you are. So yeah, so easily done. Very easily, kind of, even in the sunshine, mm. you would never believe it was a six point four percent beer. So yeah. I think. The thing for me is in that Belgian beer style, I'm looking for a little more carbonation, a little more, because that's what's lacking for me. If you drink something like a Pirate it's, or a Duvel or yeah, something like that, yeah. you've got a big kind of fluff around your mouth. And this think, isn't hitting that. Yeah, and that's where I think the beer falls down a little bit. Is yeah. that if it was buzzing it around your mouth yeah. that way, would you put it up in that top rank? Yeah, and. Um, the the yeast would the more basically what you're saying is that they haven't put as much yeast in as you would like because the yeast would give you that kind of bananary bubble gum. Mm. So I think maybe what we kind of cracked it with this review is to say that if they put more of the Belgium yeast in, yeah, it would give you that big fizz. It would give you that big bubble gum. But I tell you what, Pimpon, this is a really interesting. It's interesting. It's take interesting. On it's a, uh, well you've said Abbey style, you haven't said Belgian style, which is, it's kind of the giveaway I suppose. Mm. It's, it gives you a sense of it, it doesn't really lead you all the way down that route. Just a little bit more, a little bit more in either direction with this beer. And you've given a sense of Belgianness, but actually I like the fact you've given a sense of Cornishness as well. Yeah. As a Cornish man. Cornish water. I applaud that, so um, now, I mean, do I actually, <laughs> I'm going to actually do that. I like this. Um, How would you rate it out of 10? Pembon Brewery? I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it, because you've actually named it as an Abbey style, rather than it's Abbey beer. Yeah. It's not a Belgian beer, it's Abbey style, it's Cornish beer. This, this is an 8.5 out of 10 for me, it's a great beer to have a sup in the sun. I'm going to go 8.5 uh, eight out of 10, again it's a good beer, very good beer. Thanks for watching us on The Real Air Guide, 8.5 out of 10 for the Pembon 11.27 Belgian style Abbey beer. Uh, go on and try it. Thanks for watching us. Cheers.